An update on a story in the Poconos now about a food pantry struggling because of a lack of volunteers. 2822 Eyewitness News reporter Sydney Costas joins us live from the Feeding Families Ministry Food Pantry with more. Sydney. Good evening, Nick. Yes, we were here back in June when the food pantry had to close for the first time in 11 years because of a volunteer shortage. But now, thanks to a $30,000 grant, they were able to buy a forklift to help with the high demand that they're currently seeing. A line of cars fills the Mountain Center in Kubal Township Friday. Trunks open wide, waiting to be filled with food and drinks from the Feeding Families Ministry Food Pantry. The pantry's outreach has tripled in the last three months. And now with the help of a forklift and two pallet jacks that were donated, they're able to keep up with the demand. It was getting harder and harder to find the people that do it. Um, to be able to, to lift for five or six hours straight is a lot to ask of anybody. So this guy is going to do all the lifting um, for them. Tayburn says they purchased the forklift after receiving a $30,000 grant from Feeding America with the help of Second Harvest. Most of us are older, retired people, and uh, and it was really taking a toll on our back, so the equipment that uh, was donated is God sent and it's a big help. The food pantry is seeing its highest demand since beginning in 2011, servicing more than 300 families a week. Tayburn says inflation and unemployment are playing into the need. Food is rising at an incredible rate, um, so people can't buy as much as they need, so they need support with that. Uh, they had children home over the summer, which was an issue, and now they have children going back to school, which is an issue. Powering up the forklift to unload over 10 pallets of food each week. The food pantry is grateful for the help to keep serving. For Kuba Township, this is a huge service. No matter what kind of car a person may be driving when they're coming to this line, they're also in need. Since our last story, the founder tells me they've added a handful of new volunteers. And despite adding a forklift now to their team, they're still looking for more help. You can head to our website, pahomepage.com, for more information on how to sign up. Nick. Good effort in the Poconos there. Sydney, thank you.